Hi everyone. Hello. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Courtney and I talk about spirituality, astrology, and basically every single thing that's going on in my brain. My channel is very random and that's okay because I am random. Today we're going to talk about my newest manifestation vision board, my thoughts on vision boards, etc. Manifesting. Okay, so I actually did a YouTube video a while ago and this was on manifestation and I was like, does it work? Like, what is it? Like, law of attraction, do I believe in it? And straight up, my answer for the law of attraction is no. Like, there's so much more to manifestation than just think positive, think it's gonna happen and it will come to you because in my experience, that is not the case or I would have $5,000 just plopped in my bank account right now. The thing is, is I think the law of attraction is great. Like the secret, so many of us know manifestation because look at this, like my hair is so wild. Like this is insane. Um, manifesting a new hairstyle, by the way. So, and look, oh yeah, <laughs> just clearing up my zits because you know, back to what I was talking about. So yeah, the thing with law of attraction is I think it's amazing for people who are just getting into manifesting. Like I straight up binged the secret a few times. Like I remember when I first was like starting off with like my manifestation journey or like understanding, I was like, oh my God, what is this? Like Louise Hay, like what? Like, um, what's her name? Um, Esther Hicks, like all these people, I was so blown away. And I think these are great door openers, but the thing that they don't actually talk about is the subconscious part of manifesting, which I have been so curious about because I'm like, okay, if I'm manifesting the same thing over and over and over and over again, like why isn't it coming to me? Durr, it's your beliefs. So this leads me into what I've been learning, which is about you don't manifest with your conscious mind. You manifest with your subconscious mind. The thing is, is that your subconscious mind is like an autopilot driver and just like, like you know when you're like driving to a place and you just know where you're supposed to go and you don't really have to think and then you're like, how did I get here? That's like your subconscious. <laughs> so when we're doing manifestation and it's like, that's, that's how we're doing it. It's so wild, you know what I mean? So anyway, I love vision boards. I love making them just because I'm a super creative person. And if you don't know that, you can follow me on Bravely Beautiful Brand where I let my creativity shine. Shameless plug. Go check it out. Um, but I love making them because I think it anchors in like, what is your why? Like, what are you working towards? Um, but I had this idea today actually, and this is something I kind of want to implement with some of my clients like moving forward. But I think it's really cool to use a manifestation board or like a vision board or whatever. And then look and see like what actually like, what feels good? Like what on that board feels good? Cause like, this could get super deep, but like, I'm kind of tangenting right now, but like manifestation, yes, it's your subconscious, but also like, are you manifesting it from your ego or are you manifesting it from like your soul desire? Like that's like a whole other facet to this. Let's get back to the subconscious part first before I go all over the place. Basically, if you have a manifestation board, a vision board, you know, that's awesome because it's pretty and it has beautiful pictures and it's like, yes, this is what I'm working towards. But if your subconscious mind doesn't believe that you can have those things, it's not gonna happen. You're not even gonna like put the work in to make them happen because literally your subconscious mind is like, no girl, like, or whoever you are, like, no, 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 we're not. We're not getting that, we can't. We don't believe it's true. We don't believe it's possible. So this is why I do Lacey Phillips work where, well, or I started to do Lacey Phillips work where I understood how you have to unblock your subconscious and realize that these things are possible through people like expanders, evidence lists of like, is this possible for me? Has this happened before? Like blah, blah, blah. And that could be like a whole video, like go check out Lacey Phillips. She talks about this on their podcast, which I'm obsessed with. So I think it would be very cool to like, this is what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna show you with like my manifestation board. It's like, what on here actually do I believe is possible for me? And the way that it feels like it, it's, I'll explain to you like the feeling that comes up of like, I really feel like this is possible for me. And it's like a feeling inside. Like I feel it truly. Anyway, I just wanted to make this coming off the Cancer New Moon. I feel like it's really good 
energy to like, you know, put new intentions out there, new seeds, manifest new things. I'm gonna show you my manifestation board that I made and let's chat about this. Okay, so currently just sitting at the window. Hey! <laughs> and then I made this on Canva, so super easy, but like, well, let's make it bigger. Is that possible to blow this up? A lot of these pictures I noticed that I had on an, another board that I made, but I love it because in the middle I've put like a word or whatever it is that I kind of want to like the root for me. So I put it in the middle and then obviously like nails, like for me, like getting my nails done, like obviously I've been super budget doing them myself. Like what the frick is that? Zoom in on that. Yeah, yeah. I really, really, really want to get monetized on YouTube and get myself one of these. Like this is literally the creator's plaque. I'm like, ah, oh, yes. <clears throat> I'll just explain like a few things, a few other things. So like, I feel like when you're manifesting, it should kind of come from a few different places. And yeah, let me just scoot around here. So I feel like when you're manifesting, it's super important to like, another thing Lacey Phillips ta talks about is your authentic code. And um, that's something that I never really understood because I'm like, I am so many different things. Like, how do I just pick a few? Like, that doesn't make sense. But what I realized is like from my values, like freedom is a big one. Um, also creativity, things that make me feel comfortable and safe. So security and freedom, which is like polar opposites, but hello, I'm an Aquarius. Yes. and a Scorpio moon, so it kind of makes sense. And also I was kind of thinking like, for me, thinking like really long-term is really tough. Like, I don't know, I'm working on commitment to things. So like anything that's like more than like five years out feels a little bit too much of a jump. So um realized I didn't even put money on this, which is so weird because I'm like manifesting this. But anyway, let me continue. Okay, so this is like representing me, you know, doing something for me, like being creative as my job. Like that's like really what being a creator is something I love creating. So like this is really um, kind of represents that. And then oh, let me, where do I want to jump? Oh, these things. So like I want to get a new vlog camera, obviously. Shoes, like I love shoes, but full transparency. I have not been able to buy myself new things in a really long time just because of finances. And that's what this represents too. Um, the hair and the brows. So I cut her face out cause like it's not me, but like I love her hair and the brows, which is super important. I love that. And then if you go over here, like these are the new types of colors I really want to like bring into my life and into my space. So here this is my dream couch manifesting that I really want to make one of these i always have now this one i want to be on big brother canada like it's gonna happen okay at 45 i really want a membership there this is like my dream i'm the dream copy maker a uh, podcast i really want it to grow tiny home so that one's in a van and i really want to try that out um and yeah i just feel like that represents like freedom to me and also like living a life i love comfort like this you know wellness is in here um and this one down here like i really want to be able to like get to a point where i can like treat myself and like go to the spa like that's kind of something i really like and i feel like like i just love so so now the thing with this is that like this is great i've put all of this stuff onto my manifestation board but like look that stuff's not just gonna like magically happen for me like i have to be the one to like you know, now that it's on there, now that I write it in my journal, like I have to actively like do the things that will help that come in. So I think this is like very interesting because people who make vision boards, right? Like we are kind of taught like in the physical like way of manifestation. It's like, just think about this, like look at it every day and this will happen. And I also didn't put a boyfriend on there, which I'm just realizing now. <laughs> and like, I'm not gonna say no to that, but it's not on there, so like, Room for more, room for more. I think it's the belief, right? Like, do I actually believe that I can have my dream couch that I've been thinking of for a really long time? And the truth is, is no, at this moment, I don't believe it because I'm not making, I haven't been making enough money to be able to afford that couch. Now, what I've been working on is finding expanders, people who have a similar couch, who sounds so funny, but like, I will be like on Instagram, 
And I'm like, oh my God, that person has the couch I want. Like I see it on their picture. And then I'm like, what do they do for work? Like, how are they making money? Like, what are they doing? And it turns out like some of them have their own businesses, like all this stuff. And I, so I like looking at their pictures and, and things. And it just kind of like helps me be like, oh, like maybe if it's possible for them, it's possible for me. Same thing, like a lot of the blocks that I have when I look at my manifestation or my vision board, it always comes down to money. And money has been my number one block for so long. I'll talk about limiting beliefs in a different video because I think it's really important, but, and by no means am I an expert, like frick man, oh my God. Limiting beliefs are like, whoa. Next, drop yours in the comments below if you wanna talk about limiting beliefs. But any time that there's like something I've ever wanted in my life, I'm like, I can't because of money or, you know, I can't because of this and afford that. And like those things are blocks. So when I look at the vision board and I say, oh, could I really get that? Or could I really do that? My invitation is then to say, what is stopping me from getting that? What is actually stopping me? And often it's our blocks in our life, right? And so that means sometimes we have to change our life in order to get the thing that we want. It's not, we just sit around and wait for it to happen. Look, I'd be in a relationship and you would just come to my door if that were the case, but it isn't. When it comes to things like growing on YouTube, like to be honest, I didn't want to film a video today, but I was like, I know that like I need to commit to myself if I want to ever get that play button, the, yeah, the play button. Let's go big, go big here. Like if I ever want to be monetized on YouTube and get the play button, reach 100,000 subscribers, I have to make videos. Like I have to do the thing. So like just do the thing, you know what I mean? Anyway, so I feel like I just wanted to clear that up. So yes, I believe in manifestation, but your subconscious mind is what actually helps you manifest. So like you can't just be freaking writing something out every single day and not doing the belief work underneath of it to really be like, oh yeah, like, do I believe this is possible for me, you know? Do I believe it's possible for me to get my nails done on um, a regular basis? Of course, what's the block? Finances, money. Why would I spend money on that when I can do it myself? Well, why would I want to, why would I want to do that? Because that makes me feel good. No, my eyebrows, I haven't gotten them done in so long. And now this is a video for another day and I'm okay with the fact that I sacrificed things in becoming an entrepreneur for the time being. But in the long term, I want to be able to, you know, have that life where I can like go and get my eyebrows done monthly. Like that's so, I love that. That makes me feel good about myself. So I think it's like a few things. Why are you manifesting it? Like, what do you want it for? Like, you know, big brother, for example, this is a good one. Let's just, oh, I'll do a video on this probably another time. There's going to be a series one day, people manifesting this right now. There's going to be a series of me re-watching Big Brother Canada with me on it and we're gonna watch it on this channel together and I'm gonna react to it. Boom! <laughs> it's gonna be it, okay? Oh my god, can we just like, can we just take a second to like let that sink in? I will be on Big Brother Canada. I don't care what I have to do. <laughs> okay, compose yourself. Back to it. So with Big Brother, okay, here's a perfect example of manifesting this. I am going to manifest this. I write every single day I'm going to be on Big Brother Canada do I believe I'm gonna be on Big Brother Canada? I mean, I want to believe it. I'm literally being like, I picture myself there. Like I do all of the things. And it's actually kind of interesting because a big part of me actually does believe that I could be on the show. <laughs> Which is kind of wild because it's a huge manifestation. But when it comes to manifesting from ego versus like soul or like knowing what's the intention behind it. And if I was manifesting from my ego, the reason why I would want to be on Big Brother is to be famous. Now you're probably like, who the frick wants to be famous? Look, when I was a little girl, and I won't lie, sometimes I think about this. <laughs> like, I actually think it would be cool to be famous. But what I'm saying is that's like an ego thing. My ego wants to be famous, but my soul is like, I just want to like go on there and experience what it's like, play the game, like maybe win some money and you know meet some cool people maybe my <laughs> maybe that's where my relationship is <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> this video is going all over the place anyway maybe one day we're all gonna look back at this video and be like oh my god she manifested everything on that vision board so maybe that's why i'm making this hey shout out future courtney if you're watching this one day and you made all of these things happen take a sec to congratulate yourself 
and be proud of how far you've come because girlfriend, <laughs> you did it, sweetie. This is your sign to go make a vision board. Do something that, you know, feels good in a way that you're like, I am man I'm manifesting, I'm looking forward to something in the future. Find ways that this like feels good for you to do it because everyone is different at the same time, right? Like, you know, maybe for me, a vision board works. Maybe for you, you're somebody who would rather write everything out. Maybe you're someone who goes to the store and gets all the magazines and cuts them out versus does it digi digitally. Who knows, whatever, you do you, boo. But yeah, I wanted to do this just to, you know, show you what I'm manifesting and also put it out into the world that I'm gonna be a big brother, I'm gonna be my soulmate. We're gonna look back at all this video one day and we're gonna be like, Court, remember when you were on Big Brother Canada 2022? Yeah. <laughs> okay, anyway, I will wrap it up here. Um, let me know what you're manifesting in the comments below. Come and check me out on I am Court Burns or at Bravely Beautiful Brand and I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Bye. Go live your dreams. Bye.